What's up tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope you like this video. So listen, after three years and a whole lot of speculation, conversation, dedication, and a whole bunch of other Asians, we are finally at the end of this Jesse Smollett role, okay? Jesse Smollett, this is coming from CNN, y'all. Jesse Smollett, sentenced for lying to police and hate crime hoax. <sighs> Former Empire actor Jesse Smollett was sentenced to 30 months of probation, ordered to pay $25,000 to pay a $25,000 fine and to spend 150 days in jail. <sighs> this is because of his conviction for making false reports to police and that he was the victim of a hate crime in January of 2019. Um, and it just goes on to say that he was found guilty, um, in December on five counts of felony disorderly conduct for making false reports about what he said was an anti-gay, anti-black hate crime. Um, the actor who is gay and black told Chicago police that on a frigid night in January, 2019, two unknown men attacked him, yelled racist and homophobic slurs at him, poured bleach on him and wrapped a noose around his neck. Smollett maintained his innocence under oath during the trial, but the jury convicted him on five counts of six felony charges after nine hours of deliberation. Um, a disorderly conduct charge for a false crime report is a class four felony in Illinois, each punishable by up to three years in prison and a $25,000 fine. Cook County Judge James Lynn has, has discretion in imposing um, a concurrent or a consecutive sentence for each of the five counts. He is allowed to sentence Smollett to probation, conditional discharge, community service, restitution, or a combination. Conditional discharge is a release with stipulations, but without probation or probational supervision. After the hearing Thursday afternoon, Smollett's attorney, Gina Gladian, argued that the guilty verdict should be overturned and a new trial granted based on legal errors leading up to and during the trial. Sean Weber, deputy special prosecutor, said in response that her arguments were meritless and that the conviction should stand. Judge Lynn denied the defense's request. I stand by my findings and rulings. I do believe that at the end of the day, Mr. Smollett received a fair trial. So this sentencing hearing went on for hours, right? They presented their reasons why he should get a, um, a new trial. Um, they had a lot of people speak and then the state rebutted and then they had character with witnesses to come up and speak and talk about, you know, you know, all how great he is and why he shouldn't be sentenced and yada, yada, yada. But ultimately this is where they settled. Um, y'all. So here's where we are, you guys. Roughly, Jesse Smollett got a five-month jail sentence, 30 months of probation, which, you know, they be saying months and years, I mean, months and days, I guess so it doesn't sound as bad as it is because 150 days don't really sound as bad as five months. But uh, essentially, that's what it is. Um, and the $25,000 restitution really is a lot lower than I thought he was going to get. Like, I thought they was going to wallop him with the restitution because they made such a big deal about the police man hours and the resources and yada, yada, yada. I thought they was going to wallop him with the restitution. At the end of the day, out of 150 days, he might. And when I say might, I mean might serve 30. I still think, I mean, I still, I'm sure he thinks that's 30 too many. But considering the fact that it sounds like you could have got a whole lot of jail time, I think a five-month jail sentence, 30 months of probation, which... Again, it's probably going to be loosely supervised. Um, and $25,000 restitution. I mean, we know that other people have gotten off for a lot serious, more serious crimes, so we're not going to compare the two. But based on the way that they, they was coming at him and, and, and all of that, I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all know what I think. If y'all been following me, y'all know how I feel about this case. Okay? Um, but at the end of the day, he was convicted. So whether I think he's guilty or not, it does not matter anymore. He was convicted. And do we think that this is a fair sentence based on what he was convicted of? Please, I don't want to compare this to nothing else. I'm talking about what he was convicted of, what he could have possibly gotten, and what he ended up with. That's what we're talking about, okay? That's what we're talking about. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.